Today, I will show you how to send newsletters using System.io. With the built-in autoresponder, you have the ability to easily send emails to all your contacts. As demonstrated in our training videos, System.io provides a range of email options, including automatic emails that can be dispatched through automation rules and workflows. Moreover, you can discover emails within the Email tab of a webinar funnel. Additionally, System.io enables you to send newsletters and email campaigns. Now, let's create a newsletter which can be found in your Email tab. A newsletter is a straightforward email sent once to your contacts based on their tag segmentation. To accomplish this, ensure that you add the relevant tags as you assign them, so you can subsequently send out newsletters. To create one, simply click on Create, and then compose a captivating subject and specify a sender name. This sender name is what your contacts will see as the sender of the email. Next comes the sender's email address, and it's crucial to note that only specific email addresses can be used here. You can exclusively employ Google email addresses, like Gmail addresses or professional email addresses linked to a custom domain name. Unfortunately, email providers like Outlook, Yahoo, iCloud, and Hotmail cannot be used here. This measure is in place to optimize email deliverability and minimize the chances of your emails ending up in spam folders. Moving forward, you can choose between the Visual Editor and Classic Editor. Let's take a look at the newsletter we've just crafted. Click on it to edit and send. You can personalize the sender details, subject line, and sender's email address here. This is where you'll compose the body of the email, incorporating text, images, and even videos. Additionally, you can utilize the email address. We also offer formatting options to tweak the basic layout of the newsletter. Furthermore, you have the option to attach files. Click here to upload the desired file for attachment. An exclusive feature available only in newsletters is the ability to exclude certain subscribers. For instance, if you prefer not to send a newsletter to new subscribers who might find it irrelevant at this point, you can utilize this option. For example, if you set a duration of 7 days, the system won't dispatch the newsletter to anyone who signed up within the past 7 days. Only subscribers who registered over 7 days ago will receive it. When selecting the audience for your newsletter, it's essential to ensure that the appropriate tag is included. Let's use the tag example 1 as an illustration. Any contact with the tag example 1 will receive the newsletter upon sending. Similarly, you can exclude specific tags. However, keep in mind that subscribers might have multiple tags concurrently. In such cases, if a contact has both an included and an excluded tag, the priority will be given to the excluded tag, meaning they won't receive the newsletter. Just like in the emails for the webinar funnel, you can incorporate available substitutes in your newsletters. It's imperative that the information you use here is already present in your contact database. This way, you can personalize the emails by adding recipients' first names, creating a more personalized touch. When it's time to send the newsletter, you'll encounter two options, save and schedule or save and send a test email. It's advisable to send a test email first to ensure everything appears as intended in your inbox, minimizing any errors before it reaches your entire contact list. To facilitate this, provide a test email address in your email settings, enabling you to receive test emails whenever you're preparing to send a newsletter or email campaign. Once you're confident that everything looks perfect, you can proceed to click Save and Schedule Newsletter. This presents you with three choices. The first option is, once again, to send a test email. The second option is to send the newsletter immediately. Clicking this option confirms the immediate dispatch of the newsletter. Alternatively, you can schedule the newsletter for a specific date and time. Upon revisiting your list of newsletters, you'll observe the scheduled date and time. The yellow circle with a clock inside serves as an indicator that this is a scheduled newsletter. If the date sent column remains empty, it indicates that the newsletter is still in draft form. If you wish to send it immediately, you can do so, and the symbol will change to a green circle with a checkmark. Once a newsletter is sent, it becomes uneditable and can't be sent again. If you wish to resend the same content, you'd need to duplicate it. This can be achieved in two ways. Clicking on the newsletter offers the option to create a copy. Alternatively, you can access the newsletter options, edit the content, and use the schedule button to set the date and time. You'll also notice a share button, which provides a share link. 
By sharing this link with other System.io users, they can access an identical copy of your newsletter in their System.io account. Similar to the Share Funnel link, this link can also function as an affiliate link. If a non-system.io user signs up using this link and proceeds to purchase a paid plan or offer, you'll receive a commission. For newsletters that have already been sent, you'll find differences in the drop-down menu. The Stats button allows you to review your newsletter's performance and other relevant statistics. Additionally, you'll find the Resend to Contacts button. This tool is excellent for enhancing open rates and ensuring most of your contacts receive the shared information.